with Sweet Zero. There's Keats going in. Listed race winner in Tasmania earlier in the year. Don't doubt Dory lines up for his third Moe Cup. He's been Last sixth on two occasions in the past. Last one's going in. There's Sunsets. An independent row. Just six of them. For the Ladbrokes Moe Cup. Lights flashing. Cup field on its way. Sir Rockford was slow, missed it by two lengths. Independent Road also going back to the second half of the field and Cadre du Noir jumped nicely with Keats. Don't doubt Dory's up there vying for the lead. Sunsets and now Independent Road gets going deeper on the track. So for a moment, five of the six runners are crossing the track. Clearly last Sir Rockford trails three or four lengths away. So Keats, he's eager for the lead and as they head towards the 1600 metre crossing, still away from the fence, he now edges across. And so Keats out of the straight leads two lengths. Don't doubt Dory goes to second from Cadre du Noir. Sunset's fourth, Sir Rockford. Independent Road went all the way back to last and close to five lengths off the leader. 1,400 to go and Keats, he loves to roll along out in front and it's Celine Gaudre controlling the Ka Moe Cup field and leading them down the back now a length and a half. Don't doubt Dory, he's won a few of these country cups. He, he's in second and then comes Cadre du Noir third. Sunset's is fourth and then Sir Rockford back second last. Last year's Moe Cup uh, winning rider Craig Newitt in the saddle and Independent Road is back with him. 1,000 metres to go and it's Keats and a controlled leader leading three quarters. Don't doubt Dory second. Cadre du Noir third. Sunset's fourth. There's been little to no change in the order. A couple of these just coming off the bridle and Sunset's is one of the first. So start to be ridden along. Sir Rockford's now improving back on his inside and Independent Road has also dropped the bit back in last position. So Sunset's and Independent Road, not sure how well they're travelling. They come up towards the 500 metres. Keats still leads the way two and a half lengths. Don't doubt Dory. Now Sir Rockford's coming out of the pack. Cadre du Noir back to fourth sunsets independent road not sure whether they can win 400 meters to go they still have to get to keats he comes around the home corner three links now keats he burns around the bend railed like a greyhound four five links on sir rockford in second don't doubt dory and then to the center is sunsets but down to the 150 it's keats can he still keep on going he's got five links to spare on sir rockford sunsets makes ground down the outside but keats has got it in the bag He's got it in the mailbag. He wins it by five lengths. Second, Sunsets. Third, Sir Rockford. And they were followed by Don't Doubt Dory. And then the last couple, Independent Road. He was not going to win from about the 800 metres. And Cadre Dunois clocked in last. So Keats, Gavin Bedgegood, Celine Gaudray. Straight to the front, out of trouble. And he was making a few of these really wonder whether they wanted to be here in these conditions a long way out. And at $4.20, the third elect, who was very easy to back late, has shown the Moe Cup to be a one-act affair. Sunset second. Sir Rockford's run third. Don't doubt Dory, who gave some cheek, just couldn't continue from about the 500. Independent Road was struggling a long way out. So was Sunset, so to its credit... It decided to start to chase and get through the conditions late, so he's, he's picked up to run second, despite not looking like he was going to do much a long way out. And Sir Rockford, who expected an each-way price, just missing out on that second, so not sure whether he'll land too many bets running third in the field of six. But to one, seven, nine, and four, and it's Keats carrying the mailbag colours for Gavin Bedgegood and Salim.